So I'm talking about imposter syndrome. As from the outside, I have a big smile and I also talk publicly. However, in my back of my head, I'm, I'm always feel nervous and scared. Uh, there's a one recent uh, instance is that uh, Litmus Live, I guess all of you are familiar. Uh, I wanted to go to that conference in a long time. In, but the feeling of asking for my boss uh, to sponsor me, it's just like riding a roller coaster. I don't know if you have had that feeling before, especially before you get on the ride. So uh, in May, we received the first email about the Litmus Live, even have early bird uh, prize. And I looked at it, I didn't do anything. And then over the months, five months, I didn't do anything until the week before the Litmus Live, I finally, finally, just like roller coaster, I got on the roller coaster and I sent the email, sent an email to ask my boss to sponsor me to the conference. And actually I got approved to go to the conference. So what I'm having is actually the feeling of imposter syndrome. As a creative manager, managing a big team, a team of six, seven designers and managing orders monthly, like over, over three or 400 orders. And I'm a go-to person, but I feel so afraid when I get to something like I need to ask for something for myself. So just as here described, everything, everyone seems to do so well, but I don't know if I'm doing it right. So there are many characteristics uh, due to time, the time, uh, so I'm not going to go detail, but I know that I meet the majority of these characteristics. And in the past, my husband said, no, you don't have it. You are full of yourself. You don't have this imposter syndrome. So actually I did a test. You know what? I got a 72 scores in the score. So I do frequently feel the imposter feelings. So if you want to take a test, I will share the link with you later. The question is how we can overcome this uh, imposter syndrome. I, I don't know if you experienced that and I did. So recently I came up with some ideas and also practiced this. First is acknowledge our feelings. Second is reach out and create collections. And third is only compare to yourself and watch your own growth. So recently I joined the Toastmasters International and uh, the club. So I do a lot of like uh, practice and public speaking and also talk to people. The more you share, the more you are empowered and the more you are confident and relieved. Also in our uh, email, of, um, women of email group, I share my feelings, my videos. I felt scared about it because um, the, uh, I know open up my feelings also empower others because many times the audience reached out to me and they said that they got inspired and they thanked me for sharing my stories. And the other thing is that it's very, very important is the environment. I want to um, only address three uh, major ones. So of course, it's Women of Email is the number one group uh, that I reached out, also I built collections, also Toastmasters and women of Martech. The reason is we need to find a positive environment. If you are surrounded by the people, for example, the first image I showed, everyone pointed at you, criticized you, you are not doing well, you will do, you will, you are, imposter syndrome will get worse and worse. For example, my husband constantly criticizes me. So find the right people to talk to, find the right environment. And third is that only compare to yourself, your growth, only you know. Recently I run the 5k. Uh, in the past four years I had a sciatica, I couldn't run. So three months ago I started running. I had to take five or six stops for one mile. 
Then a week later, I could run a mile without stopping. And then two weeks later, I could run one and a half uh, miles without stopping. And uh, you know what? Two months later, I could run a 5K easily. And this is like a, a three months later, I run a 5K. I compared to the world's uh, record, I'm snow. However, I'm happy with the uh, achievement that I have now. So obviously we are not alone because 90% of us or at least 70% of, of, of us have the imposter syndrome. If you have it, don't feel bad because you are not alone and we can work it together. You find this resource, find the support uh, surround you and keep running, keep running uh, one step at a time. You will get there and also be sure to connect with the people you, um, you they will encourage you. So thank you.